Reese Phillips. Uh, I'm with Quarterback Country, specifically around Quarterback Country Chattanooga. Played at the University of Kentucky and the University of Montana. I mean, I, I think data in, in general. We're in a data-driven world across any industry you talk about, and that's all just for more accuracy on what you're trying to read, what you're trying to coach, whatever it is. Data in general, whether it be spin rate, uh, velocity, I mean, all that just makes our job easier, right? We no longer just have to go watch a kid throw. We can get that ahead of time um, to get kind of a good baseline of where he's at. Now, let's say you get a, a, a kid who has a certain data in a certain space that's higher than others in, a certain, in that space. Velocity, let's say. Well, if his velocity is already so high, that might not be something we need to focus on, or spin rate efficiency, things like that. There's drills that we do um, you know, to work on extension and, and coming off your fingertips and all those things around spiral efficiency, velocity. So if we already have that going into it, um, you know, it kind of helps us pinpoint where we might need to focus a little bit more. Disassociating the, the upper body from the lower body. That's really where we start. You see that a lot today, right? You don't see a lot of vertical passers from here anymore. Right? That's how Tom Brady's still playing at 45 because he's now here, right? So he, all those different types of things from an arm slot, but really we start with the front shoulder making sure that stays closed off and really disassociating the upper body from the lower body. Um, so that's really, I, I like to start with that front shoulder um, and really just kind of hone in from there. Falling in love with the process and not the game, I think that's very relevant today. Uh, it's easy, it's an easy trap to fall into uh, when you start getting these big offers and big conferences that are reaching out to you. And even if they're not big conferences, just you know, schools calling you while you're in, when you're in class all day, all that kind of stuff can go to your head. And I think the social media world has boosted it up a little bit, you know, and it, it's, as a quarterback coach, I can tell the difference between someone who just loves the process and who really loves the game and the position, but I think that's changed a lot. Um, and I think just the internet age that we live in has, has created that in a way. Absolutely, I mean, I, I think having, and that kind of goes back to how's the position change and all that kind of stuff nowadays, the, these really specific camps, they're just getting even more specific to this position, right? Even when I was getting recruited, the position wasn't that specific yet, right? And like really drilling even specific training just for quarterback play. A lot of that you know, has changed. So any of these camps that you can get out to that are specifically for you and specifically work mechanics. And a lot of camps where you're a quarterback, you're just kind of throwing routes on air or one-on-ones, you know, and that stuff's great. Uh, but I like what we do because it's very specific um, to mechanics. You just don't get that a lot at camps of this size. So it's, it's, it's cool to see.